All right, guys, what is up? This is a tutorial video on how to download, install, and then set up your HTML theme within 10 minutes. Let's do it. All right, guys, so what is a HTML theme? What is a HTML template? It's basically a pre-made website. It's a website that you can download and it already has all the foundational code that you're gonna to need to create something great. It's gonna have a bunch of different layouts. It's gonna have the design already there and all you have to do is switch out the text, switch out the images, and you have a great looking website. So HTML themes are a very, very good way to get started learning to build websites because a lot of the hard work is already done and you can start having a lot of fun with editing the website the way that you want it, with making these easy changes to create something great. So even to this day, I still use HTML templates a lot when I'm building for myself or when I'm building for clients because it's a really, really good way to get started in a very, very short amount of time. What I'm gonna do today is show you how to download a good theme, how to install it, how to set it up, and how to start putting it into use. So let's take a look. All right, so I'm here in Theme Forest. This is where I'm gonna download my theme from. I don't have any affiliation with Theme Forest. It's just a really good site to find HTML themes. So the first thing we wanna do is go to the HTML section, which is here, and click on popular items. You wanna use popular HTML themes, especially when you start off, because you wanna know that the theme is good, that it's already been tested and proven to be successful by a lot of different people. With every theme, there is support that comes with that theme. It's not true theme forest. It's from the provider and the designer of that theme. So you wanna know that they have a good reputation and that you're not gonna run into any issues. So this is a good place to start looking for different themes that you might wanna use. All of these are gonna have their own individual style. You can click into these and see what they're about, see the different pages that they have, see the different setups, the different styles, and go at one that you like. There's a theme already in mind that I wanna use, which is this Sart. So I'm gonna go ahead and search, click in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and download this. This is a theme I highly recommend. I use this a lot for different sites, and it's really well put together. So when the theme is downloaded, it's gonna be in this zip folder. You can go ahead, drag this to your desktop, shut down your browser, and go ahead and expand this. So give it a few seconds, and here you go. If you want, you can save the zip somewhere for later if you're gonna use it, um, but for now, we're gonna work off this expanded folder. So what we wanna do straight away is create a work folder for where we're gonna store our project. So give it whatever name you want. This isn't a name that's gonna matter, it's just a name for you to keep yourself organized. So new website, I'm gonna go ahead, open this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and open up the theme folder. So when I click in here, there's always gonna be a few different folders. It's gonna be different for every theme. There might be a documentation folder which has you know, some general information about the theme. There might be a PSD folder that contains files. But in general, there's gonna be one folder that contains a lot of files, which looks something like this. And this is the main folder that we wanna work out of to get going. So the first thing that you should do is right click. So put it in this icon view here on a Mac or whatever it is on the Windows. <laughs> um, arrange it by the kind and you will see you have all these HTML files like this, and then you're gonna have these folders. What we wanna do is expand this out, is we wanna copy all these folders across first. So go ahead and copy these and paste them into our work folder. Why I don't just click and drag is if I did, it's gonna remove them from this theme folder. So if I'm editing things later and I mess up something, I wanna go back to the original setup. It's really nice to still have the original files in your theme folder. So I recommend copying and pasting rather than clicking and dragging. So what we've done is we've moved across all the different files that our theme is gonna require to have the website running correctly. We got the CSS, we got the fonts, images, the JavaScript, media elements, and PHP. So if this is sounding a little bit complicated, don't worry about it for now, it'll make sense later. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is to go ahead and open up a text editor. A text editor is a simple program that allows us to edit our website and to test it before we put it online. The text editor that I'm using is called Brackets. It's a free program to use. I'll put a link 
below the description, but this works on Macs and it also works on Windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and open brackets. I already have the folder loaded in here like this, but if you didn't, you would go file, open folder, go to where that folder is located. So it's on the desktop and it is here. Click in and open it up. So here it is and we're ready to go. Again, we have all our different folders here, CSS, fonts, images. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the service style too, which is the only page that we've drug into our work folder. We have all these other files here, but we haven't moved them across yet. So this is the only one that is showing. If I go ahead and press this button on the far right, and if you're using a different text editor, it's gonna have some sort of similar button, but this is a live preview button. So I'm gonna click this right now. And it's, sorry, just opened up on my other window, but let me drag this across. And here is the page that is similar to the page we've seen online. You're gonna notice that these images aren't here, that they have themselves, but they're replaced by these kind of stock or blank images. That's okay, we're gonna change these images anyway at a later date, but with different themes, that's gonna be a little bit different. Some themes will open up with the images, some themes won't. In this case, we don't have them, but again, it doesn't matter because that's something we're gonna switch. So you can see that the page here is working fine. You can see all the different elements are working. We have our text, we have our CSS. This page is styled, so we know that that's connected. We have our JavaScript. We can see here different things are happening as we move the page up and down. And we can't test the PHP offline, but I'm sure it is working or that it's gonna work because we have everything else connected correctly. So if you got to the stage and when you pressed live preview, it just didn't look correct. Maybe it looked similar to the HTML only file that I showed you just a few moments ago. What that means is you've done something slightly incorrect when you're setting up your folders. You probably wanna go back, restart again, and make sure to click and drag across and keep it in the same format as the original theme. So for example, when you move across a HTML page, don't put it inside a folder, put it outside just like it is in the original theme. If you do that and it's the same way, everything should be working correctly. So now that we know whenever we copy and paste one of these HTML pages into our new work folder that it's gonna show up correctly, we're ready to go ahead and start planning out our website. So I'm gonna go back to where this theme was for sale online and I'm gonna go ahead and find the first page for my website. So as an example, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna create a four page website with a home page, about page, services page, and a contact page. That would be a pretty standard layout for a smaller website. And I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and set that up very, very fast. So I'm gonna go and pick my first home page. I already know this theme a little bit, so I know what page I wanna use. And I'm just gonna click on this travel page like this. So I'm gonna say this is the first homepage for my website. And I'm going to go back and just remember the name. It's called Travel Agency and it's the original version. So let me downsize this. I'm back here in the folder when I downloaded the theme. I want to put it back in this list view and I'm going to go down and just have a look. So these are all the index files and I can see when I move down that here's the travel different folders, sorry, different files and I'm looking for the original version. So there's a version two, there's a version three, there's a one page, and there's a HTML. If I go back here and I look at my different options, there's a one page, there's a two, there's a three, and there's original. So I know by deduction that it's this file here. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna move it across and I'm gonna paste it here. So I'm gonna say that this is gonna be my home page. I already have the service page, which is the one that I did earlier. Now I wanna look for an about us page. So I'm gonna go back again online. I'm gonna pick one of these. So maybe the original about us page. I like how this looks. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna go back, downsize, back to my work folder again. Sorry, back to my theme folder. Look for the original about page. So we got about one, about two, and about three. So I know in this case that it's the about one. I'm gonna copy this, paste it in here. And now my fourth page, 
I'm just going to look for a contact page. So there's a few different options. Let me see what the first one's like. I'm going to see if I can do a little bit better. So I like this style, the style of the second one. Again, I'm going to go back to the theme folder. Look for the contact pages. I can see them here. This is the second style. I'm going to copy this and paste it in here. So these are my four different pages. And when I now go back to brackets, my text editor, I can see the four of these pages are here. What I can now do is double click on each one of these and they're just going to be moved to the top here as open folders or open files so that they're always ready to just quickly click on them like this. So I can very quickly move from one to the other. All right, so a few things left to do before we edit the site is to set up our files in the correct order. Right now, it's a little jumbled over here on the left. So what I'm going to do is move my index slash travel slash agency up to the top. That's going to be my home page. The next page is going to be this about page. I'm going to move the services page up and then the contact page. So that is the order that these pages are going to be in my final site. So I also want to just copy that order here. It makes it a little bit easier to think about your site as you're editing. One more thing to do is to name these correctly. Our home page isn't called home.html. It's called index.html. This is the name that that has to have so that it opens correctly. So I'm going to go down here and just change this. Delete it like this and just press enter. And now it's called index.html. The reason we call our homepage index.html and it has that exact name is when we host it online on our server and people go to visit our website, the server knows to show this particular page first with that exact name. So don't call it home.html. Don't call it firstpage.html. It has to be called index.html. With these other pages, we can kind of call them whatever we want, but I'm going to keep a standard format here. I'm going to call this page about. So let me just edit this. I'm going to call this page contact. So again, just to lead off this extra little bit, and I'm going to call this page service page. So just service. Let me click that again. Oh. So services. Perfect. So I've got our four pages here. And if I go ahead and click live preview again, I can start to see the foundation of my website. So I have my home page opening up. And when I click on the next page, the about us page, I go back here, I can see the about page. So this is looking okay. Of course, none of the images or text are in here yet. That's all going to come later. But I can just see that the page is working correctly, that it's opening up just fine. When I click on services, again, the same thing. So that's working all good. And finally, contact page. All right, and we can see that this page is working as well. So that's it for this video. It's a very basic introductory video to downloading a theme and getting it set up. In future videos, I'm going to cover more about how to edit these websites, how to test it before you put it online, and then how to actually put it online and have a fully operational website. So if you get stuck, check the links below. There's a link to a free Facebook group where we all help each other. There's also a paid mastermind group where I do weekly live videos and also tutorials. And there's a course below that you can click on if you wish that takes you by the hand the whole way through this process of learning web design and then selling your services for a great price. All right, guys, so that's it. We got our theme set up. It's looking great. Very, very easy to do. So hope you enjoyed that video. I got a lot more videos about setting up themes and about selling your services as a web designer coming up. Click subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.